the key to happiness is through our stomachs. Dietitian Abby Sharp is here with foods that can help boost our mood. Hey, Abby. Hello. How are you? I'm so good. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, my gosh. I'm thrilled that you're here. You are so great at, at talking about food and nutrition in such a demystifying way and giving really good accurate information to everybody. Totally. There's so much misinformation, mm -hmm. so there's a lot to talk about. There really, really is. But today, we are talking about how food affects our mood. Yeah, yeah. definitely. So the foods that we eat can essentially um, interact with neurotransmitters in the brain okay. that will um, change our mood and, and regulate how we regulate our mood. Mm -hmm. So we know we've got ample evidence that a Mediterranean-style diet that's rich in fruits and vegetables, nuts, seeds, legumes, that's been linked to a lower risk of mood disorders like depression, mm. whereas a really highly refined or high sugar diet is uh, linked to an increased risk. Oh, interesting. Yeah. That's really, really fascinating. Yeah. So we're gonna talk a little bit about some foods that are really good for kind of our boosting our mood. Yes. Amazing. So the first thing we're talking about is something that I eat almost every morning, a little bit of Greek yogurt. So do I. Yeah. It's, it's my go-to for breakfast. Mm -hmm. My kids love it too. Mm -hmm. But when you think about your brain health and your mental health, I want you to actually think about your gut health. Oh. Because people don't know this, but we often call our gut our second brain mm -hmm. because about 50% of our dopamine from our brain is actually produced in our gut. Wow. And dopamine is one of those really good feel-good neurotransmitters I was talking about. Yes. So that is really, really important. Plus, I love Greek yogurt because it's rich in the amino acid tryptophan, mm -hmm. which can increase our serotonin levels, and that's another one of those feel-good neurotransmitters. Totally. And wait, is tryptophan the thing that's in turkey? Yes. That makes you sleepy? Yes. Okay. It chills you out, yeah. right? Yeah. And so that's, of course, what, what we want. We want to feel really good and relax and, and that's part of that. So love Greek yogurt. I, and I like the vibe that it chills you out because I think the main thing that makes you sleepy about a turkey dinner is all the potatoes. Yes. Yeah. The carb the load. The carb load. It's yes. just like the general or like the family. Yeah, maybe. that too. Yeah. Let's be honest. Yeah. Yeah. It's totally that. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Now, we're going to chat a little bit about something that goes really well with Greek yogurt, yes. too. Yes. Berries. Berries. Mm -hmm. So the anthocyanin antioxidants in berries, which is what gives it all that beautiful color, that can also increase our serotonin levels. Mm -hmm. And one study found that having a cup of berries increased our happiness levels by 50%. Wow. So that's huge. Yeah. Yeah. And they're delicious, so they're, why not? I know, it's like morning candy. Right. It's always a good thing. It's gonna make you happy. A hundred percent. Now, we also wanted to talk a little bit about complex carbs. Yes. Which is great, because a few years ago, carbs were like, don't even talk about them. They're the worst, but now we're talking about oh, them. Oh, we're talking about yeah. them, absolutely. And when it comes to our, our mood, so important. Mm -hmm. So complex carbs are the carbohydrates that are bound up with what I call hunger crushing compounds. Mm -hmm. So fiber, protein, healthy fats. Mm -hmm. It's gonna keep you fuller longer, stabilize our energy levels, stabilize our blood sugar levels. Better than, let's say, white bread or white rice is gonna spike your blood sugar and crash you back down. Totally. So, you know, we know complex carbs are going to help to increase our serotonin levels as well. Mm -hmm. So things like steel cut oats, mm -hmm. we've got milk, it. We've got bulgur, mm -hmm. barley, quinoa is another great one, mm -hmm. etc. So okay. definitely don't sleep on the carbs. I love that, and I love a carb. Yeah, so don't twist my arm there, yeah. Abby. <laughs> All right, now we're also going to chat a little bit about nuts and seeds, which are huge. Yes, always. I love nuts and seeds. Mm -hmm. um, like the yogurt, they're rich in tryptophan, so that's going to increase those serotonin levels. Mm -hmm. And one study found that folks who consumed nuts had a 23% lower risk of developing a mood disorder like depression. Wow. So that's that's key. Yeah. Plus, some nuts and seeds like uh, hemp hearts and walnuts also have omega-3s, mm -hmm. which are also really important for boosting our mood. Mm -hmm. That's so, fantastic. Yeah, we love that. And if you have a nut allergy, of course, uh, fatty fish is a really, a really great option as well yeah. for those omega-3s. What about like um, omega-3 enhanced eggs? Love that That's a good one too. too? Okay. So good. I love that. We can get those yeah, in. Yeah, we love can. It. Now, you're going to kind of combine a, a pretty much actually everything you've talked yes. about into one delicious baked good. What are you making for us today, Abby? We're going to do banana blueberry walnut loaf okay so good yes right oh my gosh i'm very excited about this that alone is like a mood booster yeah right? having a baked good on the table the smell a of a loaf oh, oh so good so good okay we got some eggs here mm -hmm. We're gonna mash up a really ripe banana. Nice. And forget about the neurotransmitters and the antioxidants. Just mashing something, oh. that really helps the mood. That's right? a mood That's booster. That's a mood booster, right? Yeah. <laughs> Especially if you're a type A person, like oh, I yeah, feel yeah. like we are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. breaking something? Mm. Ooh, it's, yeah. Mm. Just yeah. so feels good. Yeah. Yeah. I am in a great mood now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's going down. If you want to throw in the maple syrup. Oh, I love that. We're using that for sweetness. Yes. A little bit more flavor than yep. regular sugar, too. Absolutely. A little <laughs> vanilla mm -hmm. splash. 
All right, oh, whisk that together. Perfect. Okay, and then we're gonna do our dry ingredients here. So we've got those complex carbs, those whole grains. We've got some whole grain flour okay. and some oats. Beautiful. We're gonna do, um, that's some baking soda and salt. Perfect. For a little lift. Yep. Oh, Sorry. I forgot our Greek yogurt, so we'll throw that in now as well. Love it. We this is one about the yogurt. Yeah, we got that little, those, that tryptophan. We're tryptophan. getting that tryptophan in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, you want to get a little cinnamon, and we'll do some nutmeg as well. Perfect. Oh, I love a nutmeg. I know. Mm. Fresh nutmeg. Did you, know, good. did you know I keep a nutmeg in my purse? I did not, oh. but I just dropped yes. it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one that would go Whoop. with my purse. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Just yeah. Right in there later. yeah. All right, stir that up. Okay, perfect. And then, of course, we've got our blueberries. Um, I'm using frozen because now it is just way more cost effective and honestly, even more nutritious to buy frozen than it is fresh. 100%. When they're not in season. It's they're they're, pe they're picked at the peak of perfection and flash frozen. I so love that. Love that for those antioxidants. Beautiful. Walnuts for those healthy fats and more tryptophan. Mm -hmm. And let's pop it into our loaf pan here. Perfect, just grease with nonstick. Cooking exactly, spray. exactly. And I'm gonna top it off with some of those hemp hearts. Hemp hearts oh. are like one of my favorite like little superfoods. I put them on everything. I've never bought hemp hearts, but oh. now I gotta go get hemp hearts. You you're gonna become obsessed. Yeah. It is like my thing. Mm -hmm. 350 degrees for about mm. 45 minutes. Mm. And oh. look. At this. Um, Abby, I just ate some of the batter, and I can tell you already, it's delicious. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Look at that. Look at the blueberries. Look at that blueberry. Oh, my so gosh. So good. Get in there. I'm gonna, yeah, I was like, yes. I can't, you can't slice a no. loaf in front of me and not have oh me eat gosh. it. Okay, let's give it a go. Yeah. Mm. Oh, my gosh. Abby. So good. That is so good. Yes. Yes. I'm already feeling happy. We're all happy oh now. Oh, my gosh. Everybody's happy. Everybody Feeling it. Abby, thank you so, My so pleasure. much. Hey, Mary here. What did you think? Drop your comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more of the good stuff.